Yes, so great. So yeah, I have picked three sort of three whole food classics really. I would say three items that I regularly like to have from whole food shops to try. Uh, all three that I haven't yet tried from Grape Tree as well. So we have yogurt coated bananas, which I absolutely love. I want the banana to be nice and chewy and soft and then a nice white chocolate coating. Sorry, a yogurt coating, but I said white chocolate because to me, yogurt, dried yogurt tastes a lot like white chocolate. Um, we have dark chocolate Brazils. Um, I'll put all the prices on the screen because I think in general, you can save a lot of money getting your whole food items from somewhere like grape tree as opposed um, to a supermarket especially with nuts and dried food dried fruit rather and some dark chocolate peanuts love chocolate peanuts and yeah also do love dark chocolate brazils i also like milk chocolate brazils a lot as well but i think that dark chocolate ones can be really nice if the chocolate is good so yeah i'm going to start with the yogurt coated bananas it says share pack I mean, this is the thing you get. You usually get quite a lot in the pack, and for the price, it usually works out pretty good. So, as usual, I forgot to bring the scissors, but I think I'm going to be able to open this. And why I attempt to open it, I'll just mention that. Yeah, overall, I'm quite a fan of Grape Tree. I like the little magazine they've done, as I put in the background. Um, yeah, you can get a good little uh, magazine that has recipes and. Uh, health topics about the food that they sell. Pretty interesting, and it's free. Here we go, we are open. So, yogurt coated bananas. And I recently had some from Holland Barrow, which were nice. Let's see what these are like. Mm. So, these aren't like the chewy bananas, these are the slightly, not hard bananas, but a bit, little bit crunchy. Mm. The banana inside them is nice. And yeah, there's a nice sort of thick bit of coating. And yeah, it tastes like white chocolate. A nice sort of white chocolate, but a bit yogurt yogurty as well. Mmm, very nice, good start. Mmm. Let's just wash it down with a bit of water. I would probably eat like three or maybe five of them in one go. I like to take things like this, if I'm going anywhere, in a little container. Mm, it's a nice little snacking thing. Um, yeah, so now we'll go on to the um, dark chocolate Brazils. Thankfully, you do seem to be able to open these without scissors. Now, if you have a whole an independent whole food shop local to you, I mean, it's great to support them and they can be really, really good. Unfortunately, the one we had in Swindon closed down, so now Grape Tree is, I believe, the only whole, whole food shops we've, we've got in um, Swindon, where I live. We've got Holland and Barrett, they have a bit of whole foods, but that's a more wider health shop, so they don't really have a lot. These are hard to undo, so next time then remember the scissors. I say that and it probably won't. But whoa. I've managed to undo them. Right. Oh, a lovely smell of dark chocolate comes through straight away. Yeah, I really do like chocolate still. To be honest, I I do like nuts like raw, uh, just as they are. Uh, sometimes salted, um, sometimes well, a lot of the time added to my porridge. That's one of the main ways I have them. But having them with chocolate is probably my favourite way. So here we go, dark chocolate Brazil. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Again, a nice thick layer of dark chocolate. Uh, the dark chocolate is not massively rich, but. It's nice. It's 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 got a nice, it's got a very nice taste. Um, then you've got the nice Brazil. What I like about Brazils is they're softer than some nuts as well. They're not too hard. Mm, that 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 is really really nice. Again, probably eat four or five of them. Good little snack. Mm. Why eat the rest? Let's go on to dark chocolate peanuts. The smaller of the items. So I'll certainly have probably about ten of these. Quite a few of these. Thank you. 
Here's it from the top. I'm going to transfer them into another container anyway, so I don't really mind if I rip the bag. Shove a bit more water. Yeah, I use them online as well because like, at the moment I don't drive or anything. So if I want to order a lot of stuff in one go, the, the website's really good. They deliver really quickly. If you spend over £35, it's free delivery. I rise it's about £6.99, so it's a bit steep. So if it's if you can buy quite a lot in one go, that you would be getting anyway, which often I do need to. It is good to get it delivered. Um, yeah, it's always well packed, good service. Um, but yeah, I like to go in a shop, and you know what I will say about a grape tree, um, especially perhaps more than a lot of other mainstream shops. Yeah, the staff generally knowledgeable, really helpful, really friendly, and I'm, I'm not just talking about my local branch. I will say the one in Swindon, the staff are especially good. But yeah, any grape tree I've gone in, I've generally found helpful, friendly staff. Um, yeah. I would say the one in Swindon, they really do go out of their way to give you extra helpful information, like they'll let you know if there's any offers on or something that you might not have realised about, all that kind of thing. So, yeah, if you do live in Swindon or you're going to Swindon and you want some whole foods, I would recommend that grape tree. It's quite a big one as well, which is good. I was down um, Weymouth recently and they had a really small one and it was a bit crowded and hard to sort of see what you wanted, really. Um, and it probably didn't have as much of a range, so... Yeah, we like it to have a nice big one. Mmm, so. Mmm, hold on, let me just try another one. The dark chocolate seems um, very mellow, um, even more so than the Brazil nut. Let me just try another one. Mmm. I like a strong dark chocolate, but um, even though it's quite mellow, it is nice. Maybe they just thought that would go better with the peanuts. I'm pretty sure that's more mellow than the um, dark chocolate Brazil. Um, the peanut inside is nice. Very nice, actually. And, yeah, I wouldn't have minded tasting the chocolate a bit more. Um, yeah, it is, it's very subtle tasting chocolate, but it is still nice. So, overall, yeah, I like them more. Um, what's my favourite, though? Hmm. Do you know what? I think it's going to be the dark chocolate Brazil nuts. These were very nice. Um, I especially like them when the, the banana is chewy and soft inside, but they're still nice when they're crunchy. I bet I'll enjoy them. Yeah, definitely be enjoying the dark chocolate Brazil. So I think they were my favourite. You know, the sort of thing I've had in many other shops. And when I have been somewhere and there's a whole food shop, I've often brought. But um, I haven't. don't believe I've ever had the grape tree yet. So here we go. I'll certainly be buying those two again. I would probably buy these again, but I would also look for somewhere. I could maybe taste the chocolate a little bit more, but they're still nice. Um, overall, I think they're good value, and they often have a lot of good offers as well, so that's worth looking for. Um, yeah. By the way, I don't know if anyone remembers this, but there used to be this whole food shop called Julie, Julia Gray's, I think it was. And I remember seeing it, and I don't think I ever went in it, because um, I think I was quite a bit younger. Um when they were about and maybe I wasn't going to whole food shops very often then. Um but yeah, reading in the magazine and it was very interesting it's got how the grape tree story began and I didn't realise that grape tree um well what became Drake sorry, Julia Grace is what became grape tree. But it all started out with this man on the market store selling his whole food products. So yeah, a good story of um adapting um to become what is now a, um, I would imagine, multi-million, at the very least, um, multi-million earning company. Um, yeah, um, overall, Grape Tree is probably one of the mainstream shops that I think is one of the better ones. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this quick review, and I'll see you again in the next video.